Hey guys, it's Phoebe. <laughs> now it's Jen. Uh, I was hoping to be back today with revenge. As you can hear, I'm still getting over the stupid cold, but I'm feeling much better. Thank you for all the kind wishes. I will be back Monday with, oh, I can almost say it, revenge. <laughs> I promise to bring more oomph to that word on Monday. Thank you for being here and all the lovely messages this week. I love you all. I really appreciate you. Let's get into some fun. Happy Friday, everybody. Stay healthy. You mentioned in the book that there was a problem on a boat that took place. What happened? We were on our fishing expedition on the Royal Yacht in the British Virgin Islands. That sounds nice. At one point, my brother, he caught a squid. It was quite large. Okay. And it was going to be prepared and cooked by the private chefs on the yacht. But as they pulled it up, it squirted black ink all over my brother's face. Wow. Almost immediately, everyone began laughing. Well, yeah, that's funny. It was hurtful. Well, what's the problem with that? And I wasn't laughing. Why weren't you laughing? Because there's nothing funny about blackface. Oh. It was certainly a digger M. It's a squid squirting ink, Harry. I believe the squid was biased. Oh, I, I can't. It's hurtful. What happened with the squid in the end? Did you eat it? Yes, it was excellent. Ah, um, but still hurtful. Sounds difficult. Put it this way, the ocean is problematic. Full of racist creatures. The ocean is racist? Or at least unconsciously biased. Creatures. This is just getting too weird. It's too much. Don't say it. And I love my brother, and I love my family, and I love Calamari. But I can't. Would love to know what she said. Megan flying private jet to the Sustainability Awards. Brilliant. The more high-level celebrities flying around the planet in a private jet preaching about emissions and how to save the planet, the better for me. Yeah, I know for a fact. They both have bugs for life and that's got to offset the emissions. They don't want to acknowledge that because it breaks their victim narrative. Megan wants to be followed by the press. She loves it. That's why she pays to be papped all the time. They complain about her father working with the press in that infamous shoot that he had set up. But she obviously does it all the time. And the final goal of the documentary was to show that Megan could have been this incredible asset to the royal family, the United Kingdom, and really to the world. The documentary was so self-congratulatory. People talking about how amazing Meghan Markle is. She's so kind, so so loving, so compassionate, so beautiful, and that all she ever wanted to do was serve the world. And she would have been the greatest asset for a racist institution and a racist family because she could have helped them evolve into the future. This point just really upset a lot of people of color because they saw through this nonsense. Meghan Markle has hidden the fact that she is mixed race and passed as white until it was an opportune time for her to be the supposedly oppressed woman of color. She uses her race and her black mother to really control the narrative and be looked at in a positive, victimized light. Why are there so many inconsistencies in Harry and Meghan's stories? Harry and Meghan keep saying that this is their time to share their side. But with the Oprah sit-down, Meghan's interview with The Cut, and her podcast, they have been sharing their side and their story for a while now. The problem is people are not buying it. Narcissists have a very loose relationship with the truth because they're always trying to look at situations in a way that favored that USO appearance. Just watch. You can tell nobody likes this chick. They're trying to avoid eye contact. Especially the guy on her right. Touching him like a weirdo. US Open, sitting next to Serena's mom, talking to herself again. Apparently this was the time that Serena had asked her not to come. Talking to herself. Queen obviously very enthralled with what the lovely saying. couple are at a Red Sox game they had just previously had a fight you could see Harry yelling and now he's ignoring her news today according to the UK papers um, they're going they are definitely being invited to the coronation oh okay. um, they are expected they think to appear they're not going to be invited up on the balcony. That's like for the working royals. But what do you make of the decision of King Charles to let these two whiners, backstabbers, go to the coronation? It shows me that he's a classy guy. Oh, that yeah, L. That is not the lesson here. Sorry, go uh, ahead. About him. I think, you know how I feel about them, but he is doing, he won't die with regret. Mm, really? 
when is enough enough? I mean, look at what she has done to this family. I mean, it's not the royal family to her. Those are her in-laws. Those are your in-laws. That's your family. I mean, still in my son. opinion, still his son, I get though. that and I understand so, that. Prince William is also his son who has been backstabbed by the mean scheming brother for the better part of a year plus now. So where's his obligation to protect him? If you want to take a step back, take a step back, but really take a step back. Well, no, they haven't. And then they just complain about the press, even though they're in the press. It's just that they seek the publicity and then they complain about the press following them. Yes. They're, I do not think that they should be invited. Okay. And I promise you, if they go, I will be booing them. Every time they're on camera. I don't care if I'm alone in my living room. You guys can come over again with a vodka from Tessa. <laughs> do you think they'll go, them. though? Do you think they'll yes. go? Well, when they're going to go. Ever when are, when do they not go? Yeah. On camera they'll bash them. them and then show up and wave. Yes. But he would have looked worse if he didn't invite them. I do think he looks better in the end. Okay, let me think about that. That could be true, but I don't, I, no, I, no, it isn't. Because he has, <laughs> he has an obligation, not just as a father, right. but as a monarch. And these two are trying to undermine the whole monarchy. They've called half of the British population racist yes. because of Brexit. That was all over their dumb documentary on Netflix. And now they're being rewarded. If I were a, a Brit who voted for Brexit, right. I would be really rip-roaring mad over this. Yeah, I agree. Come on back. It's like an abusive relationship. Yes. Yeah. And they can yes. get themselves out of it. That's right. Right. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this. We're deep diving revenge. So be sure to check back for those videos. Those are my most fun things that I record. I love it so much. I'm really enjoying the deep dive. Check out my merch. I now have Hank and Skank stuff up. I'll put the link in the comments and check out my Patreon. Patreon.com backslash Real Housewives Recaps. I'm about to start doing extra Harry and Meghan stuff content over there. So check that out. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.